Hello, Dan Knowers. Welcome to another necessary video. Google can be a wonderful source of information, but sometimes it can be the worst of places to look up things. It's a swamp which keeps pulling you in deep. What was meant to be a simple search, sometimes merely for fun, turns out to be one of the most traumatic things you may ever witness. This video will have you cringing and shaking your head in absolute shock at the depths of decadence and absurdity that has taken over the darkest, deepest corners of the internet. Today, Dan No brings you the 12 things you should never Google. Before we start, subscribe to Dan No and click the bell icon to get regular updates on our latest and most interesting videos. Number 12, Death Clock. This silly website has been around for years and is one of the creepiest sites you probably should just avoid. It is a strange site that predicts your death date. Why would anyone feel the need to do this? The supposedly innocent website must have been set up as a joke, but it's definitely strange and disturbing. No one wants to feel like death is hanging over them. Logically, we know it's a joke like one of the silly quizzes on Facebook. But the idea of some completely illogical thing being able to predict when you're going to leave this life will latch onto your subconscious and leave you feeling a bit unnerved and on edge. We all know we're going to eventually die, so let nature take its course. Number 11. Diseases in the news. Everyone does it. We hear about a disease that is going around on the news and we have to Google it. The best advice for this is simple. Don't, just don't do it. You'll either scare yourself out to the point of having nightmares or you'll end up convinced that you or someone close to you has the dreaded illness. Nothing good ever comes from this. We all have to fight the urge to learn more about things we hear on the news, but leave it alone. The best way to gain knowledge is to read research papers, science journals, or a medical book about it. It prevents unnecessary paranoia. If you think you're coming down with something, go see a medical professional. Don't ask Dr. Google. Number 10. Medical Symptoms One of the worst things we can do is Google anything health-related. What could be something as simple as a cold that will now turn into the most rare forms of cancer with a click of a button? With all the technology and information available to us, we often find it hard to wait for a professional opinion and we take matters into our own hands. With search engines like Google and websites like WebMD and Wikipedia, we feel we have sufficient knowledge to make an educated guess about our condition. We need to quit pinning all of our hopes on that search box. Next time you or a loved one come down with a mystery illness, get in the car and go see a doctor. Number 9. Your Insecurities Advertising is infamous for feeding on people's insecurities to boost up consumerism for their products or services. Modern day advertising is no different. But with the latest data collection tools available, it has an abundance of new methods to figure out what you're insecure about. So it's best to not give them any additional secrets about you. Refrain from typing in anything you may be worried or insecure about. Advertisers see this information as a goldmine, and you'll likely find ads specifically tailored to those search results spilling off from your screen. If you must, at least use Duck, duck, go. Number 8. Anything suspicious. If it's not something you want the authorities to know that you've searched, it's not something you should be searching. Avoid searching for anything suspicious or just generally illegal. These queries can come back to bite you. You may have heard about the user who googled pressure cooker bomb and backpack. Although it was a simple case of curiosity killed the cat, the police still showed up at his doorstep after he made those inquiries on a work computer. A similar story played out after someone googled insider trading before buying stocks. Number 7. Search that confirm your biases. Bias confirmation is a real thing. It's an incredibly easy trap to fall into. 
It's a human tendency to interpret or specifically seek out new information and data that supports or confirms our already established ideas and beliefs. Because of the way Google analyzes search queries, it can very easily direct you to results that will only back up your original term, and those results can be loaded and biases themselves. Instead of searching cake cancer causing, search for benefits and drawbacks of cake. Number 6. Media Spoilers if you're an ardent fan of a particular movie, novel, or TV show, you may want to avoid googling it until you're finished with it. The internet is loaded with potential spoilers for just about every piece of media content out there. Some people don't care about spoilers, but some people do. If you're in the latter camp, it's best to just avoid it so you don't ruin it for itself. Oftentimes, an important character's death or key plot points will show up in the search result previews, meaning you can see a spoiler accidentally. Number 5. Conspiracy Theories The internet is an amazing place where basically all of the world's knowledge can be accessed. It's also a place where crackpot ideas, inaccurate information, and conspiracy theories can spread like wildfire. Save yourself the time and trouble and just avoid going down that rabbit hole. You can easily get sucked into a vortex where one conspiracy theory, with no basis in facts or reality, leads to a thousand others. Number 4. Anything that's going to embarrass you We all have embarrassing inquiries, but if you're concerned they could be used against you, say, in a political race, then it's best not to search Google for it. Even if you permanently delete your search, you're out of luck according to security experts via Eckert and Andreas Jews, who managed to gather the online habits of some 3 million German citizens without their knowledge, as well as the private web history of prominent public figures, including judges and politicians. Number 3. Whether a product is safe or not the internet has a lot of opinions, with people claiming to be experts on everything. But if you're wondering if a certain product is safe for your skin, safe to ingest, etc., and you get back a yes from some forums and a no from others, you might be tempted to swing toward the positive side. It's best to seek out medical and or professional advice. Call your doctor or the company in question. Number 2. Things you don't want to see in ads later You may have an odd question about diaper rash ointments for your friend's baby, but if you Google it, good luck. Chances are, every time you open up a page online, there will be an ad for said diaper rash ointment for weeks to come. While you're at it, avoid searching for anything embarrassing too. You don't want something to pop up while your boss is lurking behind your computer, do you? And last but not the least, number one, yourself or your partner. No matter what the results are, you will be traumatized. You're either going to find absolutely nothing about yourself, which will depress you, or you'll find more things about you than you ever remember doing. Your entire past will come back to haunt you. It's even worse when you Google your partner. Even if you don't find anything, you have now opened the gate of mistrust and suspicion. This will never end well. So the next time you have the urge to Google either one, put the keyboard down and walk away. Don't let Google trip you up. Google is an amazing tool, but like anything else, it can lead you down some scary roads. You could end up in corners of internet hell. Google has some filters which we would advise adding some yourself and by not searching these things. Next time you are looking at the Google search box, think carefully before typing. So guys, which hoaxes, memes, or mistakes have you ever Googled? Do they still come back to haunt you? Or are you one of those people who enjoy searching for such things because they don't scare you? Let us know your answers in the comments below. Subscribe to the know and click the bell icon to stay tuned to our latest videos. As always, if you didn't know, now you do.